guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. I'm going to tie you a wee fairy brown uh, crumpler pattern. That's it there. So I'm going to show you how to put it together. Now the hook in the vise is a Camazon B170, so it's a light medium wire hook. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is the Uni 380 in far orange. So we're just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. It doesn't have to be touch and turns your thread, just get a bit of thread down using your waist piece to control your turns of thread then remove the, the waist tag. Now the tag at the back, you don't tags optional on this, you don't have to put a tag on. I'm going to use the uni mailer, silver and gold in size 10. Now I want the gold side, so just tie it on with the silver side facing up. Bring it round as just to wherever you want your tag to start and then bring the thread back around again. Now, just to protect this, I'm just going to come in and put on a wee tiny drop of the old super glue. And then we're just going to come around with the turns of mail or just overlapping turns to create the tag. You're just working it back up to meet your thread. Just follow this around with your thread. A couple of tight turns will catch that in. You can come in and trim away the excess. The rib on the fly is going to be a uh, get this round for you. It's a oval gold tinsel in size 14. Now you could use a gold wire and have the oval gold or silver. Change the tag at the back. The silver, you're going to use the to try and keep it going with the same colour theme if you like now, just catching that in, work on the thread back, there's no tail on this fly guys, so that's where I think it will be a good fly for the beginner, now the body, is this is a blend of, take that all of it, of black, fairy brown and claret seals fur, now just three equal amounts and just blend them together. I just use a an old uh, Cook's Works coffee grinder to do that. And just let me dub this on, and then I'll, I'll lift it down off the the big shelf to show you. So that's it there. Just the the Cook's Works coffee grinder. That's it there. I think it was twelve pound in Argos. Near enough going to show index there. I was near, near going to say index, and I've been giving me age away. Now, I'm just going to dub that on, slide that up, and then we're going to just dub this up the body. Just leave yourself plenty of room at the front because you've got a body haggle and then two shoulder haggles and then jungle cocks optional. So, next part of the fly, this is just going to be a this is just a red, rich red game uh, cock saddle haggle. So just stripping away the rubbish at the bottom, offering this up to the hook. Run with nice tight turns to catch that in. What I do is just flick that up, come in trim that away, and then just palmer the haggle down. Right, I'm just going to get two turns going at the shoulder, and then I'm looking three, four turns down the body. It's really up to you, it's just how heavy you like to see it dressed, keeping a hold of your haggle tip, fly it round with your oval gold tinsel, and you're doing four turns of the oval gold, sweep everything back here, bring your oval gold tinsel up in front, fly it around with your thread, a couple of tight turns will secure that in, come in and trim that away, you can bring away your tip at the back. Now, that's how you can tell the fly is strong. See if you can break the tip away. And the rest of the haggle remains in place. Means you've, you've tied, you're tying a good strong fly. Now, I'm just going to come in with a Velcro. Just rough everything up. Because it is a rough, wee rough and ratty fly this. Just getting a couple of bits of thread, turns of thread down there. Just as a base. The next haggle. This is just one of the smaller. Uh, golden pheasant breast feathers, 
dyed orange. So stroke that back. Just going to come in here. Two turns will catch in the tip. So that's your tip coat in now, if you want it. And what most people will do when they start tan flags. And I did it. I did it as well. Was to come in and trim that away now. Just lift that up and come in and trim that away. Right? But if you keep your thread tight, come in and pull it back like that. I'm trying to get this on camera so you can see it. Just pull it back nice and tight. Now I'm holding that really tight. You can see the pressure in my, my fingernails here. And then bring your thread up over the top. Now the trick to this is don't bring your thread back down. Just leave your thread where it is. You don't need to move the you don't need to move your thread turns. Then just come in, stroke back the the golden pheasant. Now you're probably only going to get a turn and a half of the golden pheasant that suppose it just depends what feather you're using. I just prefer to use the the smaller feathers here. Now that's going to do me there. Then follow this around with your thread and get a couple of turns in. Forget about everything else. Don't worry about it sitting all over the place. Come in here then with your scissors and trim away the stem. Now you've still got the tension on your thread. It hasn't went loose at any stage. Just come in, sweep everything back, bring your thread to the eye and work your thread back up. Now, all you're doing here is just getting a level bit of thread down for your for your next haggle. Now, you can just come in and you can open up your golden pheasant just to let you see the fly. You can sit and play with that if you want. Alright, now, the next haggle, you can use a brown hen haggle. I don't have one of those, so what I'm going to do is use this. This is one of the bigger haggles, just show you it. This is one of the, the bigger haggles that's at the, the bottom of the cock saddle uh, cape. Now I got the, uh, that cock saddle cape there from Van Yards. Now what we're going to do is just stroke back the fibres just to reveal the tip. Now same again, just hold the tip, hold your hackle to the side. Come round with two turns, keeping your thread tight. Fold the tip of the hackle back and bring your thread back up over the tip and the haggle. Then locate the tip, break it away. Now, if you want to get these to sit back, come in with your scissors. And you can run up, up the stem. You just need to be careful that it's not uh, taking the, the fibers off. And just stroke them back. And then you're looking one turn in front of the other. And this is where you make the decisions now because it'll be up to you how many turns you want to put on. Now, that's going to be two. Now I'm going to put another one in because I like my flags to be a wee bit. These my wee lock patterns like this to have a wee bit to them. So you're going to be facing these in a wave now. Keeping it there. Follow that. Put a bend into the haggle. So just come round with your thread. Right, you got your haggle. Push your haggle down into your thread. Come around with your thread turn, never letting the tension go. And tighten up. Don't worry about everything else, something like that. So, the ground. Just come in and trim that away. Then come in, sweep everything back. Thread to the eye again. And back up. Now you're just looking to try and get this level as you can. Okay, and the more you tie them, the more you'll get used to it. Then you can leave the fly like that. The jungle cock's just optional. You don't have to put it on. But if you have jungle cock and you've got some that are split, this is a good way to use them up really. So we're just going to offer this up. Just come around. A couple of loose turns, much like you would see me do with the, the salmon flies. Just have a wee check. See what way you're, you're sitting. Alright, now, a good pair of sharp scissors if you got them. Just lift everything up. Come in and trim it away. You can move your vase around, spin it around, makes it more comfortable for you. 
trim that away. Just come in, stroke everything back, we favour there, bring my thread to the eye. And then just build up your head. Now you want a decent size head on because that's why you're using the the far orange thread. So build up your head. Nice and bright. Nice bright head on. Keep the thread tight. Never let it go. Come in with your whip finishing tool. Just hook on your whip finish. Spin it around. And then come in and just throw in three or four, five whip finish, whatever you like. Pull your thread tight. Come in and trim away your tan thread. Now it's the wee fly. It's the wee fly done. Now, what I want to do is, I've just started literally doing this. I've started super gluing some of the, the heads of my, my trout flies. Rather than just varnishing them. Now, just come round, right the whole way right round. Just with a super glue. Then once that dries, I'll come in and hit that with a couple of coats of varnish, guys. But there you go. Um, just a wee fairy brown crippler pattern. Um, that's a good wee fly. Um, sort of way to tie if you're a beginner, I think. Um, you got your palmer and your body, and then you sort of way need to uh, work out the space in relation to your shoulder handles and stuff. So look, guys, tie a few of those up. Hopefully, you're getting something out of that wee video there. Um, if you are, let me know. Drop a wee comment down below. Um, and genuinely, if I can try and help you out a well. But look, tie a few of those up, hopefully, then catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. And until next time, please stay safe and tight lines.